Hey everyone, and welcome to the database testing info session. I'm William Harrison. I'm the intern here at the U of M Archaeology Labs. And as the collections database management intern, I'm responsible for developing a database that will contain and organize information on the artifacts we have in our collections, and hopefully make that information easily accessible. You guys are all here today to, because the first prototype of this database is complete, and I need your help to test it. So we'll start with the introduction, uh, first to me, and then to the archaeology labs. Moving from there onto a demonstration of the current database prototype, and then instructions on how to access its prototype and test it. Introduction to me quickly, uh, I'm William Harrison. Uh, I'm did my BA at the University of Manitoba and my Master's of Science at the University of Toronto and was hired on in uh, September to help work on these databases. The labs themselves uh, are physically located on the Fort Garry campus on the third floor of the Duff Roblin building. There's four main spaces, the main lab, an N303, the faunal lab, an N311, the B-Dial lab in N304. B-Dial is mostly used by professors Rob Hoppe and Julia Gamble. It's for imaging uh, osteological remains. And N307, the ceramics lab. Spread across these four spaces are hundreds of thousands of objects related to five main collections. Uh, the archeological collection, our paleobotanical reference collection and our faunal reference collection, our ethnographic collections and our human osteological collections, including indigenous ancestors. The database that we're talking about today has most to do with the archaeological collections. So we've got all these great uh, collections here at the U of M, but there's a problem. Uh, we don't have a complete catalog for all of our artifacts, meaning that if someone it wants to find and compare artifacts between sites, they have to search through each site catalog separately. This makes it difficult to find artifacts and any information really related to them. Back in September, I was hired on to develop a database that would unify all the separate site catalogs and make them available for research, outreach, and in the case of culturally sensitive artifacts, repatriation. After some five months, the prototype of this database is complete. So moving on now to a prototype. This is the main landing page for the database. As you can see at the top here, we have four different buttons. These lead to four different layouts that contain information on different objects relevant to our collections. First, we have one on the artifacts themselves, on the sites from which these artifacts came, photographs of these artifacts, and uh, documentation related to these sites and to the artifacts. Beginning with the artifacts tab, we can see here on the left are, is our summary view. This contains all of the records in the database and uh, can be filtered, uh, searched, and uh, sorted as well. We can do that by clicking on this magnifying glass here and entering find mode. So say we want to find all of the nails in our collections. We would type that in press enter, and all of them are populated on the left. If you want to see a specific artifact, we click on the row, and that pops up on the details panel here. There's a general catalog information at the top and more specific information here in this box on the bottom. So information on the provenience, description, storage, where it's actually physically located uh, in our collections, and also uh, images as well. What you can do as well is export this list. Say you wanted to do research on all the different nails, uh, perhaps comparing lengths, what have you. You can do so by exporting here. Information on sites is present in a list. We have basic information on where the sites are, uh, including coordinates, as well as information on related documents to those sites. Those are also accessible through their own uh, layout as well. Photos have their own layout in a similar format to the artifacts layout with a summary list on the left and details on the right. 
photos can be added directly here and linked to an artifact or added directly through the artifacts layout. So the database isn't quite ready yet. We still need your help to test it. Uh, normally, we would test the software on lab computers at the university, but since we'll be working remotely for the foreseeable future, we'll have to take an alternate route, which I will describe shortly. The first step to accessing the database remotely is downloading a copy of the FileMaker software. You may do so by visiting the FileMaker website and following the instructions to download a trial copy. Uh, once installed, you can click on the shortcut to the software and follow the instructions to begin the trial period. You can access a copy of the lab database file by a Google Drive link, which should be distributed on the UMassa social media. Once you have it, you can download all the files there into the, to your desktop and open the resulting folder and click the file entitled catalog test.fmp12. Look for this icon. If you've downloaded installed FileMaker properly, a dialog box should then open up on your desktop asking for login credentials. Enter your account name as testing and the password as top secret, all lowercase. Once you click sign in, you're ready to start uh, testing the database and seeing what it can offer. Uh, take your time to look through it and explore all access aspects of the database. Use it as you would if you were looking for, to, for information relevant to your research. Try entering data, exporting data, and using the filter and search tools. <clears throat> Once you feel you've explored the database to your satisfaction, please fill in the Google form survey based on your experiences. It consists of about 16 questions and should take approximately 10 minutes to complete. It's accessible through the PDF in the Google Docs uh, folder. The survey will be anonymous and the resulting data will only be shared with lab staffs, staff. So please uh, be honest. If you have any questions or comments about the database, or if you're experiencing issues that are preventing you from effectively testing it, uh, please email me at williamharrison at umanitoba.ca. Thanks.